Hey everyone, uh, how are we doing? Welcome back to Mindset Explosion. So we're on season three. This is episode 19. If you're watching yesterday, I got the episode number wrong, but hey, it doesn't matter. Um, so today I want to talk about um, when is the right time to start? So because I'm filming this on Facebook Live, because this will later go on my, um, oh my gosh, YouTube and my podcast uh, I'm just going to invite some people to come and watch. And as soon as you are in, hashtag for me, Mindset Explosion. Drop in a heart, okay, because that's always good. Just helps populate the video for me to share this. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a great message for you. Um, there we go. <laughs> if it's not for you, it will be for someone else, I'm sure. All right, excuse me a sec. Okay, there we go. All right. Hey, Andy, how you doing, buddy? All right, so... When is, the, when is the right time to start? Um, look, being a coach, be it as a martial arts coach or a mindset coach, and people have you know, great aspirations, great dreams, things they want to do with their life and get fit, there's always that little gremlin that pops up on everyone's shoulder. I've had it. I've had it when I'm, even in fact, when I wanted to get back into martial arts uh, you know, as an adult, uh, a, young, a young adult, so I'm still a young adult, right? Um, it was that little fear that came in when I quit my job as an engineer to become a martial arts instructor. Then when I bought this business out to run it myself, even now with the whole scenarios that's going on, when do I start this? When do I start that? There's always going to be some sort of fear that holds you back. And sometimes we might feel, oh, I haven't got this training yet, or I don't know that this thing or that thing. So for example, let's say when I started this, my business, well, I knew a, I'd learned about marketing just through, you know, being, uh, um, it's working for my instructor, right? But I had to learn a whole heap of no other stuff. So I could have said, well, I'm not ready to do this yet. Cause I need to go and now learn some more. I need to go and learn about Facebook. So now's not a good time for me to start, uh, be, you know, my business or I need to learn about bookkeeping. So maybe now I shouldn't start. Does that make sense? So I, I could have come up with a list of things that would have prevented me from, you know, taking this on uh, as my, my own business. And I think it's a normal human trait. So we, 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 look, for, um, we look for reasons that, you know, we're not going to be good enough. It's not going to work. And if we're not careful, we get caught up. We get so focused on that. And we then make it more reality. Oh, well, maybe now's not the right time. Maybe I need to just, you know, go away and, you know, study a bit more. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that, that that's a problem. But in my opinion, really, right time to start is right now. Some things, yeah, you've got to go away and learn. Like, could you be a martial arts instructor if you've not done martial arts? No, of course not. Um, so there's some things you, you, you've got to learn. But there's also things that you can learn as you go. In fact, I proved it with the fitness kickboxing. I've trained people up pretty quick to teach that because it's just basic stuff, right? But I'm going off on one a little bit again. But really, it's like, now is an opportunity. And I'm seeing a lot of people with great ideas um, at the moment because I've been stuck in lockdown. And it's been an opportunity to think, right, do you know what? This is Actually, I'm going to work on this now. I've been wanting to do this for so long. And the excitement's there, and that's great. And you just got to harness that in. And as soon as that fear kicks in, because it's going to, you got to use that energy to, you know, to change that approach. Don't, don't need to feel overwhelmed. You just got to think, right, okay, I'm nervous. I'm going to just go for it anyway. Yeah, so what if you make a mistake? So what if someone says no? And if it was, you know, let's say I'm using a business example, people say no, you've got some information and you're just going to change it. It's not really a no, it's like not quite ready yet. And you need to go and learn a little bit more about this, but keep going because you can learn that as, as you go along, right? Imagine like um, for the things that we want to do, I, I think... Um, as Tony Robbins might have said this. So it's like, imagine you're just the most sophisticated missile on a, you know, like a, a plane, yeah? So they, the, the missile locks onto its target. It knows exactly where the target is because it's locked on, but it can't hit that target till it's launched. And then once it's launched, it has to start learning and adjusting all along the way. Hey, Lee, how you doing, buddy? So it has to learn... It's, it's got to accommodate for the airspeed, is the, the changing, if there's changing weather, changing wind, the target's now moving, that's going to keep moving. So it's, it's launched, it knows where its target is, but it's having to change direction, change course all the time. It's got to keep switching and switching and switching. And eventually, it should hit that target. 
all right, it might miss, but it's learned all that information has just been processed. In fact, that probably gets, you know, in technology day, it's probably sent somewhere and that's how they, you know, um, modify things and make things better. So launch, if, you're re- if you've got something, then just launch with it. All the other stuff, you can definitely learn on the way. And yes, you'll mess it up, but it's all information. It's all information for what you need to do next, where you need to go with it, and it will definitely guide you, you know, through that. So look, the mindset of like I, I like to call I, have to, I might change the name of this to martial arts mindset because martial arts for me definitely changed my mindset to so many things. Teaching changed it even more. Doing something right outside my comfort zone stepping in that deep water but I still believed and I think that's a a crucial point what do you do when that fear kicks in so you want to start on something you got that little voice on your head saying I don't think you're ready for this and you're gonna be no good and people are gonna laugh and someone might even say some stupid comment because they have no idea or they haven't got much of a clue so what do you do well you just use the energy to drive yourself forward like visualize yourself doing that thing I think okay well I'm not I don't have these things yet, but you can learn those as you go. I promise you, I, uh, becoming a business, like say, um, trying to martial arts as a business owner, I had to learn so much. And, and I thought I was the head instructor. So I was pretty much running it in, to a degree. But now there was a whole other stuff that came with that, that I had to go out and learn. And I just did it, invested in myself, but not just, you know, invested in time and, and money, well, money and time, whatever. Yeah. But launch today don't wait. It just, all you're doing is prolonging something else. So, um, let's say, you know, if I, I'm using, you know, my business or martial arts as an example. So, right. I, I was a high grade black belt, so I I should know it. What I didn't have, I had to learn in, in teaching or how to teach, how to coach. So a lot of that was learned as I, as I went. And some things I, obviously I learned before I got started. And then the other bits I had to just learn along the way. And it meant I could launch today. And I, even with the videos, you know, I, I remember doing my first videos probably about five years ago. They keep coming up on my memory now. And I'm like, like <laughs> and it's just, I'm just a different person. I've, I've evolved with doing these lives. It, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's just almost second nature. In fact, I just ramble off. <laughs> not, not even following a plan so much now. I just think, right, that's my subject. That's what I'm going to talk about. But you got to launch first. And then 18 months from now, you're going to thank yourself for it. And you're going to learn along the way. Don't wait. Don't find other things that you think you got to do. Um, because you'll be there. And then there'll be something else. And then there'll be something else. Just start. Start today. And fear is so normal. It is just basically your body is preparing you for that next step. Stepping outside that little comfort bubble, comfort zone. But once you do, I promise things get so much better and you grow from it. And not just you, you grow, people around you grow as well. It's just like a natural thing. You, like you just, the, it becomes contagious. Your energy changes, you, you feel excited. And yes, you get a little bit of fear, but just harness it and just, right, right I just got to step forward again. Cause you can step back, right? If you step forward, you can step back. You have that option. But I would say visualize, see yourself doing it, get excited, move, and then just go and do the next step. You don't have to like overwhelm yourself with anything because you can lay it out in um, you know, those steps that are going to suit you. But go and do it. If there's something that's there and we all got, we've all had a life change, we've all had this life change. But until you start, it's, it's just things will just be the same. So do you want to go back to how it was when things get lifted, when lockdown's lifted, you know, what, what is it that you maybe wanted to start, but you didn't, but do you know what? I, I'm talking to myself because I wanted to start my live classes about two years ago and I just put it off, put it off because, oh, you know, I got focus on this, but I was just forced into it in the end. So whatever. But I, again, and I've learned so much from that. So just the time to start is right now and you will learn along the way. If you've got some skill sets, then you're ready, okay? If you've got this, those actual skill sets, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, but it depends where you are. If you want some help with some stuff, some advice, then hey, drop a message below because I, I want to sort out some other courses and maybe confidence growing, uh, confidence building or making videos, all right? Uh, or just on that mindset. Um, so if you are interested, just like, drop a message and 
um, and I know who's, who's up for that. But going forward, just believe, go for it. Don't worry about it. And that fear is, you just turn it, I've been saying, you turn it back. So, oh, what if I'm no good? But what if you are good? What if uh, no one, let's say, what if no one decides to come back to the academy when I open? But what if they do? Just, it's the questions that we ask um, ourselves which determines where we're going to go. So, find just, and it's just changing it. What if they do come back? What if they love it? What if they love the new plans I got for here? What if, what if, what if? So ask the right questions and you'll, you'll find the right answers for them. But the best time to start? Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, right now, especially if you're a little bit fearful because that energy will definitely drive you forward. But you can choose to let it hold you back, of course. All right, guys, I ramble on a bit, didn't I? All right, and help, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I've always shared a video, and I'll see you all soon. Peace, love, yes, always, good health. Bye-bye. <laughs>